Hello Virgos and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general, may or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insight and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So Virgos, I am currently doing readings. If you guys would like to book a reading with me, let's see what is going on with you and your person. I do not do financial readings on YouTube, however, if doing... um. If I didn't get a chance to do your, um, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, so you guys, <laughs> your cards are the eight of pentacles in reverse. All right. So something just is not working out anymore. The love oracle is trust. Okay. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. And let's see what your blockage is healing heart okay it says healing from a broken heart freedom from a toxic relationship or an addiction so i feel like you are leaving somebody it's not working anymore and, and spirit is saying you have to just have faith that things are going to get better for you moving forward okay so let's get a little deeper spirit tell me what's going on what is going on with virgo what is the energy for virgo spirit Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, something is over. I feel like somebody here was a liar, a cheater, a deceiver. They may have been a manipulator. This is somebody who made you give up on them. Yeah, now this person may... Um, well, I see this person as being in some type of third party or wanting to work on some type of third party. Now, it could be you that they want to work on things with. We'll have to see. Spirit, why is the Ten of Swords here? What caused this ending? Someone from the past that they kept going back to, okay? What is the Seven of Swords here for? Yeah, this person this person does not know how to be an honest person. This is somebody who likes to play mind games. They like to manipulate you. This is somebody who um, is very self-indulged. This is somebody who always um, operates or nine times out of 10 is operating from a negative or a biased standpoint. This person is um, not good, you know, for you anyway, okay? Someone who is not for you is always going to be toxic for your, your well-being, okay? Now, what is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Death card and the Three of Cups. Yeah, it's like, um, even, okay, let me just say this. If you were in a third party, which I, I strongly feel like you do because you're dealing with somebody who's very narcissistic, and um, their ego led them to this other person. If you left this person, this person is going to still be with this other person, the third party. With the will of fortune, it was in your best interest to get out of this. All right? So let's see how this person is, is currently feeling about this breakup. You know, are they sorry? Do they feel, you know, well, how do they feel, spirit? Spirit, tell me how this person feels about this breakup. The Queen of Swords, they feel like you're being very detached. This person feels like you're, you're leaving them be. Um, if you guys have kids together, this person just wants to f um, focus on finances and being able to take care of the kids. If not, then this person is already moving forward to something else that they're giving their time and energy to. Yeah, this person was very selfish in the relationship, and I feel like they're going to be selfish moving forward too. This person feels like you've detached your energy. Ace of Pentacles, so they're going after something new. I feel like this person will definitely come back to you. Yeah, look at this. Four of Swords. This person is going to come back to you. They may try to come in with an offer, but with the Two of Swords, you need to understand that there is still someone else in this person's energy. Why is this person cheating? Why is this person coming up so deceptive in Virgo's reading? What is the issue here? Because this person takes you for granted. This person feels like, you know, you're not going to go anywhere. And I feel like that hurts the most because you know this person takes you for granted. I feel like you may have been going through this for quite some time. You're trying to figure out why this person doesn't open up to you emotionally or why they don't give you what you deserve. And I feel like it keeps you up at night. It stresses you out because you know your worth, but you're wondering why this person doesn't see your worth and put the energy in. I feel like you need to block yourself off from this person. This is not somebody who's going to treat you any better because they have their own personal issue, okay? Tell me what this person's plans and actions are for Virgo. What is this person's plans and actions for Virgo? What is this person's plans and actions for Virgo? What is this person's plans and actions for Virgo spirit? 
What is this person's plans and actions? Oops. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. This person definitely plans on coming back to you, okay? Ten of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So they plan on ending it with this third party and coming back to you. I don't, I don't um, necessarily feel like um, they ever planned on leaving you in the first place, but again, they they take you for granted, and that's the problem. What is the advice? Ace of Cups. I feel like you need to focus on new love here and keep your guard up and your distance and maybe um, not even speaking to this other person because I feel like they're going to just try to manipulate you again, okay? Let's see what we have new coming in for you. Spirit, what is the new energy coming in? What is the new energy coming in for Virgo? New energy, spirit. What is the new energy? What is happening in the near future for Virgo, spirit? I feel like you need a break because I feel like you are still kind of indecisive about whether or not you want to go back to this person because you view them as your happiness. So what's coming up in the near future is healing for you. Yeah, needing to get over this person and getting back to a happy start. But I do feel like after you finish that, you will have a passionate new beginning with somebody. Could be with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But there's too much conflict going on to invite anybody else into your aura and your energy and your space, okay? At the moment. So healing is your biggest thing right now, okay? Okay, so all the way from Aries to Pisces, I'm going to do all signs. All the way from Aries. Oh, my God. Somebody is, you're being extremely stubborn right now. All the way from Aries to Pisces, Spirit. Please give me um, energy. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Okay, Virgo. If you're dealing with an Aries, this person is holding back their emotions, but they do still want to give to the situation. Or they're focusing on giving to um, a child. If you guys have children or need to split bills. Um, if you're dealing with the Taurus, this person wants to communicate with you about how they feel. They love you. If you're dealing with the Gemini, this person doesn't want to speak to you, but they're watching you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, this person is blocking you and moving on. If you're dealing with a Leo, this person feels left out in the cold and they want to make an offer to you. If you're dealing with another Virgo, this person, um, somebody may want to reconcile, the other person doesn't. Take it how it resonates. If you're dealing with a Libra, um, this person is thinking about you. They miss you. If you are dealing with the Scorpio, this person is playing mind games. That's why you guys fight so much. If you're dealing with an, a Sagittarius, this person sees you as somebody very attractive and they want the end all be all with you. If you're dealing with the Capricorn, this person is holding back from you. They're waiting to see what you're going to do. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this person is focusing on their stability. If you're dealing with a uh, Pisces, this person will like a new start with you, but they're not going to be the one to open up to you. All right? So... Your rebel deck card for the day is well for the week. Oh my god, all my cards fell. Stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. All right, thank you guys.